I think that's a Morgan dollar. Look at that. Look how deep this is. It's at least eight inches deep. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. It is a peace dollar. Gosh. Well, good morning, everyone. Headed out this morning on a very cold morning. 31 degrees right now. I'm up here in Arkansas meeting up with Craig Burns, better known as Unearth Arkansas. We uh, teamed up last week and uh, thought we'd get together and do a little hunting up here in his hometown. And so I'm on my way to get some breakfast and meet him. And hopefully we're gonna have a good day, find some good relics and some old coins, but who knows, you know, you never know. The whole journey is really about meeting new friends in the hobby and having a good time with it, ain't that right? So I've got a little bit further to go, so I will see you out on location. Well, I made it out on location. I'm up here in northern Arkansas. I won't tell you exactly where I'm at, but I've got with me today Mr. Craig Burns. He's better known as Unearth Arkansas. So y'all check out his channel, his uh, Instagram. He has some great finds, invited me to come up. And we have this uh, big old nice lot up here that he's hunted. And what all have you found on this lot? I found an uh, 1849 seated dime, uh, three ringers, a couple shield nickels, uh, a ton of other relics and stuff. It's, it's been a really good spot. But, uh, but you never know. Hunt, place is never hunted out, is it? Definitely not. Let's get on there. Let's see what else we can find. Uh -huh. Let's go have it. Let's go have some fun. All right. I'm going to hunt with my trustworthy Equinox 800 uh, this morning. And uh, Unearth Arkansas done got him a signal right there. He doesn't know what it is yet. So, uh, But I'm just going to be hunting in Park 1 Multi Frequency. Uh, we're just going to leave everything pretty much normal. My sensitivity, uh, we'll see what that is. I'm going to put my recovery speed at 5. Let's put our sensitivity down about 20. Let's start out right there. And uh, so let's just kind of ground balance. I mean, noise canceled it all out. And uh, all right, we're ready to roll. Let's get at it. Well, we moved on from that vacant lot over there. We just really didn't find anything over there. It's been hunted before, a lot of trash. Got some modern money up by the sidewalk and stuff like that. So we had just two houses over from there. We, we got this house right here behind us. Didn't find anything in the side yard, but just modern coins. But I came back here in the back and uh, wanted to check this back before I left. And it's getting a 22 signal. And uh, thinking it's just going to be another penny, I wanted to check my hole. And it's not a penny. It's going to be something even better. Check this out. You can see it right there. And that is going to be a silver turquoise ring. Check that out. Let me get it cleaned up and I'll get you a better shot of it. All right, you can see it right there. Get focused in. It'll be a nice little silver ring. I like that. I like that. That's my first find today. Let me get it cleaned on up and I'll give you a, a final cleanup shot. Put some water on it. All right. Here we go. It's going to be a nice little ring. And it is marked. Oh, I can't read the markings. I'm too blind for that. I'm going to say 925. Nine, two, five. Nice little ring. Well, it's been a very long day, and we haven't found anything but that ring. And Craig got that necklace that you saw. And other than that, we just really haven't gotten anything. I've got, you know, six or seven Wheaties and toy car and lots of clad, lots of clad, no relics. Um, but we decided to come over here to this school that we we're going to hit tomorrow. Uh, but we decided to do it today. And I got me a 27 to a 29, a, um, a good tone, pretty deep. It's deep as my pro pointer. So it's at least nine inches deep. Popped it out. There it is. It's going to be a Tootsie toy. Got my first little relic here. Still got some color on it. 
let me clean it up and I'll give you a close up. Well, it's going to be, I don't know if you can read down in there, if I can get it in the light. It says Tootsie Toy Mustang. So it looks like it's going to be like a 60s, uh, late 60s model Mustang. Still got all four wheels. Too bad it's a, not a red one. My wife wants a red Mustang. I wish I could have got her a red one. I would have given it to her. All right, let's get a picture of this beauty and uh, let's keep on going just about out of daylight. It's day two. We didn't really have a good luck on day one. I just found that ring and that toy car, a bunch of clad change and other stuff, uh, unearthed Arkansas. Uh, Craig found a few good things. And, uh, and so we came back out to the school where we ended yesterday and uh, they had a fairground out here. You can kind of see behind me some uh, things here. And uh, so I was just, just got here a little bit late and uh, got me a 36 to a 40 signal about six inches deep and just dug it up. Look at this. Look down in that hole right there. What is that going to be? That is an excellent shape too. I think that's a Morgan dollar. I think that's a Morgan dollar. Look at that. Look how deep this is. It's at least eight inches deep. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. It is a peace dollar. Gosh, let's pluck this out. Let me get a camera on it. That is a peace dollar, folks. Golly. Oh, man. Check that out. Check that out. Let me just sit it right up here. And I uh, don't want to rub it too much. So it's time to break out the holy water. Nineteen twenty one twenty three, which is a common common date. What do you think about that, man? You worried about me getting a silver? And I got a silver all right. I thought it was a half dollar until I turned down, rubbed it, and I saw that uh, eagle on the back of it. Wow, that eagle sitting down. It's in great shape, too. I actually kissed it with my shovel. Let's see if I scratched it, though. I don't think I did because I was off just a little bit. Yeah, I, I did kiss it right there just a little bit. Just a little bit. That is my second piece dollar. I've dug two Morgan dollars. This is my fourth dollar I've ever dug. Oh, my day's made, man. I mean, I haven't been here. How long have I been here? Five minutes? Not even, I don't think. You just got here. I've dug one pull tab, and then I dug this. Wow. Check that out. A piece dollar. I was thinking it was a half dollar. My goodness. Let me uh, get it dried up, and I'll get some close-ups on it for you. Check that out, guys. That is awesome. Awesome. A 1923 piece dollar. Been here five minutes. And uh, all right. I hope I didn't jinx myself. A lot of times when you get your good target on the first time, you don't get anything else the rest of the day. But that's, that's worth the trip right there. I mean, how often do you dig a silver dollar? Man, that is good. Get in there close and look at that. That is good. Ah, I got to kiss her. She's beautiful. Mwah. Let's get an 18 to a 19, about eight inches deep. Got a little, like a drawer pull handle with a little decoration on it, a little star. Not too far from where I found that piece dollar. 
I think because there's a house right there and I'm hunting between the house and the road, I think the place where I'm at right here at one time in this vacant lot was a house and I'm hunting this school property now and I'm hunting where there probably was a house right here. And uh, that's why I found what I'm finding so far. Well, it's been about uh, 20, 25 minutes since that uh, peace dollar. And uh, I'm still in that same area, just working this little front area, like it, this vacant lot was probably a home site at one time. And uh, it's getting a jumpy 24 to 28 back and forth. And uh, I see a little silver again. What's it going to be? It wasn't that deep, so maybe it's not going to be anything too old, but you never know out here. Eh. Ah, it's just going to be a rosy. It's just going to be a rosy. I see it now. Nice, bright, and shiny rosy. What year is that? 1957, looks like. I'll take it. Let's sit her right up there and let's get a picture of her. Let's keep on going, see if we can get some more big silver. Just getting a 18 to a 19. And uh, pop this up. I thought it was going to be a, a penny. But uh, it's got a little necklace top on it. Can y'all see it right there? Ah, looks like it's going to be a Shriners. There was a, this was a circus ground. The circus was here. I bet this is a Shriners pen. Let me clean it up and uh, let me get you a better close up. No, it's not going to be Shriners. It's just going to be a happy face. I thought that uh, that smile was one of those Shriner swords. No, I'm just going to be a children's necklace. Looks like it's got a piece missing off the side right there. Oh, well, let's keep on rolling. Well, it's getting a good 1819. I can still see a piece of the leather right there. This may be an old dog tag. 19. So I'm getting the sun. Let me clean this up and see what this says. All right. It's going to say 1962. Batesville, Arkansas. 84 dog tags. There we go. 1962 dog tags. That's good. I collect these. I have a whole collection of these old dog taxes. Well, I was getting a 27 to a 29. Just popped it up. It's going to be a pocket watch back. No writing on it. No fancy. And at least I don't see anything. So... Let's put that in the pocket and let's keep on rolling. You guys are not going to believe this. Craig just called me over and he says half dollar. And it's right close where my silver dollar was. I just completely missed this one. And uh, he's got it in the hole, got it uncovered. Let's look at it. The notch and uh, the first signal I got with, after doing that was that. Man. Y'all look at this. This is, I think this is where I dug my silver dollar. And I missed this. It's one, two three steps away and he has got him that looks going to be like a walker i bet that can i pop it oh, yeah. no you never dug you pop it you be the yeah, honors yeah, you, do. you do this is your first time to ever get a silver uh half dollar you pop it let's see what it is i think it's going to be a walker yep walking liberty what year is that 19 I see a worn, I think. That's pretty worn, but... Hmm. 1917, maybe? I don't know. If it's 1917, that's going to be the second year they came out. I can't tell either. Can y'all tell on camera? If I good at the right angle? I can't tell. But man, you got a, a walk in Liberty... And a peace dollar right here together. 
Check that out. Congratulations, man. Thanks. What my do first, you think about that? My first half dollar after a year and a half of the tech was solid. Are you excited? I'm blown away. Now you don't feel so whooped, do you? Yeah. yeah, hold that up and let me get a picture of you, man. Wow. Right here with our that piece dollar. I mean, within feet. How, how did I miss that? I come through here twice. I don't know. I'm glad I went back over it, though. And you rang up solid, no iffy yeah, signals? I, I dropped my recovery speed, and uh, I don't think it probably would have showed up that solid if I hadn't. Well, man, I'm glad you got it and I didn't. That way we both got on the board today. I'm happy. Man. So cool. Let me see it again. Look at that. That is an awesome find. That's two big silvers out of here. I think we all search a little bit long before we give yeah. up. I am so happy that you got you a, a, some big silver. All right, we moved on from the school after uh, uh, Craig got that uh, half dollar. We really didn't find anything else out there, so we came over to another lot. And uh, I'm just about out of time. I got a five-hour drive to get back home. So we took me over here where his lot he has found some stuff. And uh, and I came down here on this corner, and he said this would probably be the best place to do it. And I'm getting a 31 to a 34 signal, and I just popped it up. And check this out. I don't even know. I haven't took it out yet. Do you see it? And y'all see it right there? All right, let's pop this together. Oh, it's not gonna be a half dollar. It's gonna be something else. It's gonna be a token. I thought it was gonna be a half dollar. I saw that edge like that. Let me clean this up and uh, I'll get back with you. I don't know what this is going to be. Goes like that right there. It's going to be a guy's face on it. Yeah, let's see. Sovereign Commander W. A. Frazier, who is a sovereign commander? W. A. Frazier. Let's see what the back kind of says. It's this I like tokens. They're good as coins to me. You can find a lot of information out on it. It says. Woodman, okay, Woodman of the World. Woodman of the World, Omaha, Nebraska. We'll have to do some research on him and see about what time this coin, this usually about early 1900s. Another good find. Thought it was going to half dollar, but hey, it was ringing up like one. Let's keep on going. Well, we're going to call it a day. I've got to get back. I've got a five hour drive and to go, and that's going to put me back a little bit later on. So we're going to call it a day. Both our backs are sore. Your back sore? Oh, yeah. Man, we're both sore. Uh, two days of hard digging, and uh, we found a lot of good stuff, though. Are you happy? Yeah, I've had a great time, and you know, I found a bucket list or something. Yeah, man, he got him a fir his first. His he's a, he witnessed. I witnessed his first, and uh, and I missed it too. But uh, that's okay. I'm glad he got it. I'm really am because I've dug many of these, and he's never dug one of these. I'll show it to you in just a second. But we did we dug a lot of stuff all right there's all of our trash this is all my trash right here this is all uh craig's is back here and uh, you can see to dig all the treasures you got to dig all the trash with it and uh here is craig's right here he got him two quarters he's got him five dimes he's got him 11 pennies uh, 11 nickels and then 26 pennies he got him a spoon a silver plated spoon a bullet some head stamps looks like a uh, pocket uh, knife got him a couple of buckles I got him we don't know what this is maybe a hair thing not really certain got him an aluminum ring that's broken got him one weedy uh, some English and salutatorian medals from school and some of his better finds is going to be this little bitty silver cross with a little blue stone in it then he got him a Civil War was this Civil War period? Yeah. Civil War period uh, button, 
smashed in. That's a good find. Found that at the school as well. And then his best find is right there. A 1940, what did we say it was? 41? Yeah. First year of the Great War, 1941, Walking Liberty. His, ha his first half dollar ever. And I'm glad he got it. He got big silver. We dug big silver today. And that's all of Craig's stuff. He had a very good week, weekend. Here's all my stuff. I ended up with uh, 4, 8, 12, 14 quarters and 13 dimes, 5 nickels, 20 pennies, 6 Wheaties. I got a little toy car I dug out of his dad's yard. And then I got a 1962 uh, Tootsie Toy Mustang. And I got a pocket watch back. I got a 62 dog tag. I mean, that was a 67, I believe. This was 62 dog tags. And then I got a Woodman of the World. Uh, nice little token. I thought it was a half dollar because all I saw was the edge like that. And I'm thinking it's silver. I got silver fever today. Uh, I got a little children's necklace. Got a cross. I didn't dig it. Uh, Craig actually gave me that one. So I'm going to put it in there with my finds. And it's going to go in with all my other crosses I have and then I dig dig a uh, 925 turquoise ring that's real good and I got a 57 57 Rosie and and the my best find of the day is there she is look at her smiling looking all beautiful for me 1923 piece dollar cannot believe I dug that and these two were about 15 feet apart two big silvers we'll go ahead and put the baby silver over here too and there's our silvers how many days do you dig a silver dollar and a silver half on the same day so we had a very good time so there's all the trash and there's all our treasure and like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go up in a schoolyard and vacant lots to find. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until, we, until I see you again, I'm just going to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.